What's going on guys, welcome back to the workshop. Uh, today we'll be messing about with the court panel, one of the court panels on the uh, MX-5 and um, we'll uh, be cutting out sort of the old rot. Uh, we've got to make up new internal arches essentially and um, yeah weld that all in before we put the outer panel on. Um, you've seen in the other video that I did the sill end plates. Um, yeah they came out really well. Uh, so yeah, come on. <coughs> so we're over here looking at the right hand side. Um, what, what I've done is I took the uh, replacement panel, I cut part of the sort of side piece off that goes um, in here with the door shut. Uh, just got it to tuck round nicely because I didn't want to weld it down the edge because uh, it's going to be hard to get in there to hammer, hammer out the weld when it shrinks and um, so yeah, I just thought it'd be easier to do it on this flat edge. Uh, and the panel sort of comes along here. Um, so the next port like, move will be to take the sharp corners away, uh, round them off nicely, and then I'll scribe them up onto the panel. Um, and then we can go, at, we'll do a rough cut first before doing the final cut later on. So the replacement panel, what I'm going to do, just use something simple, cut and disc here, uh, and then we're going to round off, round off these corners essentially, and then trim it with uh, tin snips. So the reason that we put on the radius is, is if you've got a sharp corner, when you weld sort of from the two points to that corner point, um, it creates like a weird pull when it, when the weld shrinks. So hopefully this means. So at least we can get a good look at the inside now. Um, you can see there's not a lot of access to get in behind to uh, planish the weld out after. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be an interesting one. We'll have to keep the panel nice and cool as we go. Um, but yeah, the first thing first is making this new inner, inner lip, which I might do in two parts, just because there's not, the rot doesn't go too deep here. Um, whereas over on this side, obviously, that does go in a fair, fair bit further. I think the best option here would be to wire wheel along this join, drill out these spot wells and just pull that out of the way just so I can get uh, real good access sort of into this bit here. As you can see, that's literally where the battery sits. <laughs> So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill in um, probably three Cleco holes, uh, they're one eighth, um, so I've got that and then obviously when I go to put the panel back on later down the road, um, it'll be in the exact same place like it was from the factory. Right so now that's done what I'm going to do is dot punch the uh, spot welds 
that would just make it easier for my spot wheel drill bit to stay centered. You can hear that sounds nice and solid behind there, so it's a good sign. Over here, not so much. Sort of start to see the extent of the rust on this. Um, some of this just pick away by hand. So uh, yeah, the next thing is going to be basically just wire wheel this whole area. Just see how far it goes. It does look like it does stop there, which is where a factory um, join is. Two flanges. Uh, there's a lot of filler or something in here. I don't know if that's just seam sealer. Maybe. Maybe seam sealer. Um, but at least I've got some shape here to uh, go off making the replacement panel. So on this side as well, I'm just going to, uh, I've just uh, been wire wheeling in here a little bit, but I'm just going to see if I can remove the uh, sill end panel, because um, then that will allow me to sort of test fit that other one that I've got. a bit more out just to see uh, inside the sill. Basically it doesn't come up too high but what I'm going to do is go from this line, um, cut that all the way along and uh, yeah that's the bit, bit that I'll replace but there's a lot more to replace. So I've cut that out now. Um, <clears throat> as you can see uh, what I'm going to do now is uh, sort out something for this inner arch um, <clears throat> because I've only got the small shrink a stretcher or non-deep throat uh, I'm going to make a small piece of angle first and then I'll add on sort of the extra depth as you can see it's sort of rotten here it does go sort of past this flange slightly as well um, and then obviously down here at the back is quite bad uh, <clears throat> I might end up putting a separate patch in right at the back there uh, but we'll see once I uh, form this new inner edge. So I'm uh, halfway there now. Um, like I said, just a small piece of angle just because the uh, jaws on the uh, shrink stretcher are quite shallow. Um, so yeah, I need to just get this fitting up a bit nicer. It's almost there though, you can see that profile's there, but it sort of needs turning down into it. As you can see, you know, you've got a gap in between these two. So what I've done is, is I've uh, clickoed through holding on that inner arch bit um, and then obviously put on the outer panel uh, and then what I'm going to do is if I can get onto anywhere I'm going to drill through the original uh, inner arch into my panel and then that hopefully will give me positioning um, to then sort of add the rest of it. There wasn't enough of a lip on the <coughs> inner arch so I've got nothing to get onto but what I'm going to do is add my sort of extension piece to the flange. Um, I've got most of the shape uh, 
of sort of test fitting I ended up clicking that up to the uh, inner arch so uh, I've got a radius tool on the uh, bead roller here so I'm just I've rolled a slight edge on this piece and then I'm going to roll a slight edge on here um, that will work quite nicely So now I've got that slight edge, I don't know if you can see that, uh, slightly rolled over and uh, what I'm going to do is weld that onto the flange um, and then it will take a bit more sort of shrink and stretching just to make that fit nicely. Test fitting it again into the outer. Um, it's getting really close now. Um, I'll show you on the uh, rear inner. Let me just get this uh, cleco on temporarily and I'll show you. As you can see, it's looking pretty good. Um, there is a bit of a high spot up here, a little bit of a gap in here. So this needs shrinking a little bit more, just here in the centre. Um, it blends in quite nice down the back here, so that's good. Uh, and it's really good around the front um, Obviously, I'm just I'll have to cut out the inner uh, once this fits up lovely and uh, Can start welding it on. Uh, I've been in with the wire wheel and cleaned sort of the whole wheel arch It's not too bad. It's still a bit along here um, Hopefully I can just sort of rust treat that I've got got the proper crust stuff um, So yeah, I'll, I'll give that a go what I've just been working on is fitting up the cylinders that we made. They fit up quite nicely. It, it took a little bit of uh, tapping just to seat it in there nicely. Um, even the flange on the back sort of fits quite nice. I mean, you see here, I'm going to have to repair this bit, but I'll get round to that. Um, but it's pretty good. There's a bit of a gap in there, uh, but I'll be able to pull that up. What I might do is drill through the front because I'm going to have to uh, plug weld to that flange anyway although well actually i could probably get my spot welder on there um but i might drill some holes just so i can put some screws in and then that'll pull it all the way up but yeah it fits quite nice it's looking good um i mean nothing's going to be welded in just yet uh until i can sort of test fit everything there's a patch in here that i'll have to go in um you know to sort of join in with this panel once that goes on uh, and then there's a bit, that bit still at the back. Uh, so I'll do something back here. Um, this bit sort of comes out to here before the arch actually starts. Interestingly, I found this when I cut it, uh, cut the quarter out. I think it's a tracker going by what I was looking at online. 
uh, with a unit in there. I'm not too sure how I would access the uh, sort of tracking capabilities of it, but if not, I might just rip it out because it's fairly weighty and uh, not too fussed about having it. Right, so if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, uh, leave any comments, what you think's going on. I not I know not too much happened today, um, but you know I'm I, well. It's actually been a few days worth of clips because I can only fit in an hour here and there. Um, like I said before. I'm not going to weld anything in just yet until you know I make all those patches. I need to weld in a bit for that flange, replace that flange, um, and that'll be the next step. Um, so yeah, if you're enjoying the videos, make sure you hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.